We're hearing from Denver Mayor Mike Johnston for the first time on the city changing how it measures his House 1000 homelessness initiative. This change is going to allow the city to meet the mayor's goal by the end of the year, because otherwise they would have fallen short already. Because originally the city said that people had to stay sheltered for 14 days in order to count towards the 1000. We're less than 14 days out now from the end of the year and the city still needs to get hundreds of people indoors. At last update, the city is counting 607 people towards the mayor's House 1000 goal. That is 607 people moved indoors for any amount of time, not necessarily staying there for 14 days. According to the city's newly reworked dashboard on this, 583 people are still sheltered today. Johnson says the city is no longer waiting 14 days to count people toward the goal, which was the metric described for months. But while the city is taking immediate credit for sheltering all those folks, they're also now offering more transparency in the numbers released publicly on how many people are staying with the program long term and how many eventually make it into permanent housing. This is actually a more accountable, more rigorous, more transparent system than would have been happening either with a 14 day timeline or a 30 day timeline, because those would have assumed as the federal regulations do, that after 14 days, if you have an exit, doesn't matter, it still counts as a success. So last week, we reported here that city leaders had become aware weeks ago that they had been misinforming the public on how the homelessness numbers were tracked, and yet they didn't say anything when they knew. City spokespeople have chalked it up to internal confusion. When next asked about those changing measures, the mayor's office denied what was happening. Now the mayor's office tells us that Mayor Johnson himself did not know about the misleading numbers until after we reported on them.